Hello folks, welcome to another video. So in this video today we are going to actually hack a real website. Sounds interesting right? But actually we are not going to hack a real one but a simulation of a real one. So we have certain websites uh, in Portswigger where it has been provided for us to have a vulnerability. So we can hack that website and practice our penetration testing purposes. So this is the website I have a uh, like generated from ports figure so if you want to know more about how to access these labs please let me know in the next uh, video i will explain everything about this to you so today what we are going to do is we are going to log into our website without even giving the login credentials sounds quite interesting right yes so the technique i am going to use here it's called as sql injection so SQL injection is a vulnerability where the user can inject SQL queries into the browser. Let's see how it practically displays us and how we are able to bypass the login. So first what I'm going to do is as a prerequisite you need Burbsuit and a like browser connected with Burbsuit. So what we are going to do is we are going to start the intercept here and then we are going to submit something here. So for now I'm going to submit test and test username equal to test and password equal to test so once i submit it i can be able to see it here you can see that csr of token it has given and username equal to test and password equal to test so this is how it will actually go to the server in the server how it will be constructed is whatever you are giving as a username will be added here test it will be constructed here for example like this it will be constructed this is the query that the server will construct so what it means is select start from table name what is the table name that is relevant where username equal to test and password equal to test so this is how it will construct it so let's consider it as single quotes here single quotes double quotes both are same only here in case of sql so this is how the query will be connected so what we are going to do is we are going to certainly um, in a, for a certain amount we are going to modify this input parameter so instead of giving a like test what I'm going to give is I'm going to this input here on the top you can see if I place this exactly here what happens select star from table name where username is the administrator and double dash signifies that whatever that comes after is commented so that means the only query that will be executed is this one so this will actually result in show uh, like allowing you to log in as an administrator let's uh, see that if we can do that so i'll just copy this payload so let me show you here so we are not yet logged in here you can see that uh, login is uh, not yet so what we are going to do is we are going to pass that value here since i have told you that this is how we pass the sql into the server so once we it uh, goes to the server we'll just forward it forward and you can see my account administrator account id is administrator that means it's partially successful we know but we'll see it in the browser straight away so after that we can stop the intercept and here you can see your username is administrator that means i logged in as an administrator and i can update my email xyz at gmail.com update it and after that i am able to kind of log in as administrator here so this is how uh, we are kind of exploiting this vulnerability of sql injection and we will be kind of logging in into a server or a website that we don't have access on so this is called the sql injection vulnerability allowing login bypass we didn't even uh, log in but we got access as an administrator you can see here on the right we are still as an administrator and we can log out also i'll show you how the account is your username is administrator and your email is xyz at gmail.com so that means i can do anything i want in this website now so this is all about sql injection uh, like login bypass using sql injection guys so i'll be kind of talking more about these labs and some of the web application techniques for you so if you want any more video please let me know so i hope this uh, video is uh, entertaining and interesting so please like share and subscribe i really require your support for further videos so see you guys in the next video